I'm a first-generation immigrant. My father is a doctor and my mother ran the local pharmacy. Growing up, I saw firsthand the difference they made to our community. We rise to challenges, we will meet them, we are well prepared for them, we'll get through them and we'll emerge on the other side stronger. Having a lower tax, simpler, fairer, flatter tax system is something that can drive growth. India is a major power, with a youthful and hard-working population, and has an incredibly bright future. I hope the UK can be part of that journey as a close partner. There can be no lasting prosperity for our people, if we do not protect our planet. More generally, I strongly believe in the importance of fiscal responsibility. Ethnic minorities are not one homogeneous political group. In terms of cultural upbringing, I'd be at the temple at the weekend, I'm a Hindu, but I'd also be at the Saints game as well on a Saturday, you do everything, you do both. We are a country of Newton, Hodgson, and Turing. Ours is a country of ideas, invention and discovery and is truly a national history. As you would expect, I come from a business background, and the idea that a finance director would be somewhat not working closely with the CEO of a company is very strange to anyone in the business world. From education to employment, housing to trust in the police, politicians from all parties must understand the different issues affecting individual communities. It is important that those that do come to settle in the UK gain a sense of British identity and share British values. We have always attracted the best and brightest. From working in my mom's tiny chemist shop to my experience building large businesses, I have seen how we should support free enterprise and innovation to ensure Britain has a stronger future. I feel the Conservatives are doing really well both in attracting votes from British Indians and also having successful British Indians in the party. Upon leaving the EU, Britain will find itself with more opportunities for economic innovation than at any time in almost 50 years. There is a clear political desire to rebalance the British economy away from London towards the regions, and away from the services sector towards manufacturing. We are committed to leveling up across every region and nation in the UK and that is why we are making the largest ever public investment into broadband. This investment delivers on our promises to the British people boosting growth and prosperity across the country. It was a Conservative government that in 2016 introduced the national living wage, giving Britain's lowest paid workers the biggest pay rise in 20 years.